greetings on a cold Michigan day in March that looks a lot nicer out than it feels. It's only in the mid 30s right now, even though the sun is shining and there's blue skies everywhere. I posted a blog entry a short time ago at truckers.org where I talked about the importance of trying to get out and hike, even if you can't go on a major trip. It just means finding some place near home if you can, get the exercise, find the motivation to get outside and enjoy it. And uh, this is one of those days where I'm forcing myself out here. As you can probably hear, behind me are some geese who maybe didn't expect to see anybody out here today. I don't know. They're not thrilled once I got up here. Um, but I also talked about in that post how when you hike at this time of year in a state like Michigan where we truly have four seasons of weather, that as you start to go through a little bit of warming and thawing of the snow, which is now mostly gone, you're going to deal with some flooding, you're going to deal with uh, some mud, and you have to be ready for that, whether that means slopping through something that's a little messy or having to reroute or backtrack because the trail you were expecting to find just isn't there anymore. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, this is a trail that I am on uh, that is now going to become a sloppy, muddy mess that I'm going to not go too far in before I'm stuck. So if you look behind me, there's a trail marker right about there. There we go. That's where the trail continues. This thing that looks like a river isn't. The river's over there. This is just sort of extra water and not some place I'm gonna walk through today, even with my relatively waterproof boots. Time to hike back up the hill. Oh, if I don't fall in the mud and find my way around past the snow and around the trail in another direction. Found a little drier spot in the trail, although dry is relative at this time of year. When you're hiking in Michigan in March, sometimes the shortest distance between two points is through the muck. Which is why you wear waterproof boots that you don't mind getting muddy. And pants that you don't mind getting muddy. Number of spots on this trail system that I'm on have boardwalks for areas that are normally a little swampy no matter what time of year, just because of the location we're in. Uh, here's one here that looks a little different. It's not normally at such an angle. It's not normally pointed in that direction. But once the spring flood came, it apparently took this little boardwalk slash bridge with it. I'm still gonna use it because it sure beats walking through water that deep. Right now I'm on a strip of power lines. The uh, towers there behind me you can see this connects <clears throat> one part of a trail in the woods to another part and usually in this section there are these tall marsh grasses that I'm sure have some official name of which I am unfamiliar. They're usually a lot taller than this and you have to kind of stay on the path because they can scratch you up and there's usually lots of bugs and things living on them and just easier to stay on the path. And what you don't realize though is that what can be an obstacle one time a year Mother Nature turns into a blessing at other times. Because of the winter season and recent flooding, you'll notice that most of the marsh grasses in this area have been pushed down. And the reason that's gonna help is because this path that normally is wide open, relatively easy to travel, is flooded. But it's not flooded everywhere in this section. As you can see, they're pushed down pretty well in a lot of areas. 
and with my relatively waterproof boots and my handy Montum trekking pole. There's my shameless plug for Montum. I really do like their gear. And we're affiliates, so on our website you can find a discount code if you want 10% off. Okay, end of advertisement. I'm going to go through an area I normally wouldn't hike through because Mother Nature has decided to make a path for me. Looking for high spots. Using my pole to check to see if it's really drier or if I'm going to end up with a wet foot. Means I can get around the flooded section of the trail thanks to Mother Nature being so kind and offering a way around the usual path. Here we are on the other side of the flooded section. That's where I just walked through. So you've seen my trek through water and mud today, but in pure Michigan fashion, I'm gonna hit lots of other things, like sand on the trail, and of course, snow and ice, because pure Michigan means all four seasons often in one day. I wasn't kidding when I said I would be hiking through snow before long. But the sun is still out and with some hiking effort, it's not as uncomfortably cold as I thought it might be. It's just a little chilly when you stop. Oh yeah, and I need to figure out gloves that will work when I'm shooting with a cell phone. Because right now one hand is a lot colder than the other. So, today's hike's coming to an end. Made it back to the trailhead. Some slipping and sliding in the mud, snow. Nothing really all that dangerous though. Hope you enjoyed coming along on my hike. Jesse had a prior commitment, so I ended up doing a solo hike. And I figured instead of talking to myself, I would talk to all of you. It's too bad she couldn't come along. She would have been a lot cuter to look at than I am. But I wanted to share this with you and maybe tie it into the blog post that I did. You know, we have trekkers.org, the website, up and running pretty well now. We want to get this YouTube channel a little more populated and maybe start tying in some of the website blog posts and some of the videos that we're doing a little more closely. So maybe you'll see more of this. In the meantime, Keep on trekking. Enjoy what you're doing. Make the most of it.